Do they want blood on their hands? The question tonight from a local lawmaker after the FAA made the expected announcement today that two local air traffic control towers will close. It's all because of cuts due to sequestration. 10 News reporter Ashley DiMartino explains the impact on your safety come fire season. Deeply disturbs me the decision of the FAA. The FAA's decision on Friday to close 149 airfield towers across the U.S., including those at Ramona and Brown Field, has local leaders upset. This is a result of the federal government not being able to get its budget act in order and prioritize what's most important to people, and that's the public's safety. With nearly 400 aerial attack aircraft calls a year, Ramona's airfield is the main CAL FIRE hub for staffing for wildfires. How are they going to prevent it? How are they going to put it out? How are they going to treat it? How are they going to access it? Questions even Supervisor Jacob couldn't answer. This will jeopardize the lives of every man, woman and child in San Diego. She says that the next step is to appeal the FAA's decision and plead with them to take another look at the impact of closing the Ramona Tower will have on San Diego. Well, I think that would impact a lot of people and a lot of, you know, lend in a lot to a lot of tragedy going on when there's fires. It is, in fact, with the closure, a disaster in the making. Do they want to take that risk? Do they want to have blood on their hands? For now, the air control tower closures begin on April 7th, but it is not clear yet exactly when the local towers will shut down. Ashley DiMartino, 10 News. The airfields will continue to operate without the towers, and pilots will use a shared radio frequency to communicate with each other.